Hello and thank you for your interest in this screencast. Zentil Server offers a Linux alternative to Windows servers. Its main advantage is the ease of use with which it allows to manage the domain and directory services typical to a Windows domain, thanks to the native implementation of the Microsoft Active Directory protocols. This tutorial is one of a series of videos showing the capabilities of Zentil Server as a native replacement for Windows Server. We are going to show different use cases, running real examples, and in order to do this, we will use virtual machines to deploy these scenarios. In this third scenario, and starting from the previous one, where we already had Zentil Server joined as an additional domain controller to a Windows Server, we are going to perform a total migration. To do this, we will transfer all the FMSO roles from our Windows Server, that is the primary domain controller, to Zentil Server. Once we have completed this operation, Zentil Server will become the main server and we have several options on how to continue, depending on the final scenario. We can shut down and disconnect our Windows Server, add additional Windows Servers or additional Zentil Servers. By executing this command, we can confirm that the owner of all the operations master roles is our Windows Server. Now, let's log in to our Sentinel Server, open a terminal, start a session via SSH, or directly on the server. Login. And go to USR share Zentil dash Samba and execute the script AD migrate. Once all the roles have been transferred, we can go back to our Windows server and confirm that the owner has changed. We execute the previous command again and see that the owner of the FSMO roles is now Zentil. To summarize, we can use Zentil as a standalone domain controller as well as additional domain controller joined to a Windows server or to another Zentil server. Or we can choose to use Zentil as a primary domain controller with Windows servers as additional domain controllers. All of these combinations are possible using the native Microsoft protocols and most importantly for the system administrator without any disruption to the final user. 